Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'm back again with another gameplay slash commentary. Ah, oh, man, I was waiting for the phone call from Nade uh, and Scump, you know, um, Seth and Matt, but they didn't call me. And I was really looking forward to giving you guys my announcement video as Optic Soldier, the new coach of Optic Gaming, but it just didn't happen. Instead, they picked a guy, a Halo pro, by the name of Flamesword, also known as Michael Chavez, a 24-year-old guy from New Jersey, a very consistent competitor who matches the Optic brand extremely well. So I wanted to give you guys some quick uh, information about him, and I will be pushing back the COD profile to tomorrow or Friday because I wanted to get this up for you guys. I tweeted out last night and asked if you guys wanted to hear about Krim or big timer and they're both kind of almost tied in the voting for which the next cod profile is or if you guys wanted to hear about flame sword and it was a resounding we want to hear about flame sword we want to know about this guy so uh the important stuff about him is that he's been in 15 tournaments in 15 halo tournaments mlg and he has won over forty thousand dollars in those 15 tournaments he has uh three first place finishes on halo reach and halo th and halo four uh he actually was in the only halo four major league gaming tournament right before halo got dropped off the circuit um he also was involved in the testing of halo four he's one of four pros to get to do that uh before the release and he helped to write the strategy guide for halo four uh, the, one of the interesting things that I found is that even up until this decision that was made to pick him up on Optic, he's still entering tournaments, and he's been playing in Halo 3, Halo 4, and Halo Reach tournaments. As you guys know, Halo is still not on the circuit. It doesn't look like it's going to be on the circuit for next year either, the Major League Gaming circuit, that is. But other uh, companies are still throwing tournaments, and he's been entering those tournaments and still was calling himself the captain of Status Quo. Uh, Status Quo is one of the most known uh, names and brands in competitive Halo and they kinda had this envious type of thing going on where the first couple of years of their existence they couldn't get a higher than fourth place and then finally uh, towards the end um, of Halo 3 or of Halo Reach, I don't remember which one it was, they finished uh, in second place at MLG Dallas, and then the rest is history. They started getting first places, uh, they started getting uh, and making more money and, and winning tournaments, and he's even, he's won some little lands this year that he's traveled around to. Um, the reason why I think he's perfect for Optic Gaming uh, is that he's really, he's a respectable guy, and he's a consistent competitor. Like, he's just, he's got, he's consistent. Like, Optic was last year. Unfortunately, they only got one first place finish last year at the very beginning in the first tournament, uh, but they were very consistent. They finished top five in all but one tournament, and that seems like that's been the history of status quo ever at the whole time that Flame Sword was the captain. Uh, and the other reason is that a few years ago, he was actually asked, how come status quo was the only top tier team to keep the same roster for all of the 2010 uh, MLG season and status quo came back and said well we get along outside of the game and you may see us argue for 10 to 15 minutes at a land but 10 to 15 minutes after that we're gonna be laughing about the argument because we get along and we really like each other and we don't analyze each other that much to where we can't get along and play together. And I think that is the definition of Optic Gaming. That fits the brand perfectly. And so I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do together. I am sad that I didn't get picked up, but, you know, it's okay. It's, it's I'll be okay. I'll be okay, I promise. Um, I'm really sad, though, that I didn't get picked up. And uh, we're going to see him at Columbus. So we're going to get to see. I don't think he's going to be coaching them at Columbus. He may wear a headset and listen in and kind of maybe pump them up. But I don't even know if he knows the game well enough yet. I know he has uploaded one gameplay, so he's been practicing. Uh, but I don't know if he knows the game well enough yet to actually be like Mr. X from Complexity, you know, to have that level, or Triple H, to have that level of coaching. And so we'll see. Uh, but I think this is a great decision for Optic Gaming. This is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.